If the result is correct, we might need new physics to explain the universe. The greatest puzzle in cosmology just got even more puzzling. Images from the James Webb Space Telescope have confirmed that universe appears to be expanding significantly faster than it should be. Researchers report in a study accepted in Astrophysical Journal. The observation is in conflict with an esteemed theory, the standard model of cosmology, which describes how the universe has evolved since the first moments after the Big Bang. The conflict comes down to calculations of the Hubble constant, a number that describes how fast everything in the universe is flying apart. One calculation, based on Planck satellite observations of the oldest light in the universe in conjunction with the standard model of cosmology, suggests the Hubble constant is 67.4 km per second per megaparsec, a megaparsec is about 3 million light years. Hubble Space Telescope images of stars at various distances from us provide a fundamentally incompatible value, 73 km per second per megaparsec. The discrepancy is known as the Hubble tension, and new JWST data hasn't done anything to ease it. The telescope took images of the same stars as the Hubble telescope and calculated a very similar Hubble constant. Although the Planck number disagrees from the Hubble telescope and JWST number by less than 10%, the discrepancy in the measurements implies that there's something terribly wrong with our understanding of the universe. Unless an error turns up in one of the measurements, it will take strange new physics to explain the tension. JWST looks to the stars to calculate the Hubble constant. With the Hubble telescope and JWST, Astronomers calculate the Hubble constant by observing flashing stars known as Cepheid variables. The stars flare up periodically at rates that indicate how much light they're putting out. Comparing a star's brightness in telescope images with its expected brightness, based on the flare-up rates, gives a measure of the distance to the stars. Shifts in the color of the light coming from the stars reveal how fast they're moving. Combining distance and speed observations of Cepheid stars leads to a measure of the expansion of the universe. But Cepheid variable stars tend to sit deep inside galaxies, surrounded by crowds of other stars. That can make it difficult to get good measurements of the Cepheid speeds and locations. One simple resolution for the Hubble tension could have been that the Hubble telescope measurements were simply off. Enter JWST, which can peer through the stellar crowds to clearly make out the color and brightness of Cepheid variables. The higher resolution JWST images provide data with dramatically lower uncertainties and reduced confusion with nearby stars than the Hubble telescope could manage. The Hubble telescope measurements have been right all along. This study alone isn't enough to convince astronomer Wendy Friedman of the University of Chicago. The two galaxies studied are comparatively close to us, on cosmic scales, with the farthest one about 75 million light-years away, she notes. The relative proximity makes it easier to pick out the Cepheids from the stellar crowds. Friedman suspects it will be harder to distinguish Cepheids from the crowds of surrounding stars in more distant galaxies, even with JWST. JWST data from those stars also line up with Hubble telescope measurements. Although still awaiting peer review, images strongly suggest that the JWST has indeed overcome uncertainties that resulted when light from Cepheid got mixed up with light from nearby stars in lower resolution Hubble telescope images. Astronomers studied the oldest light in the universe, called the cosmic microwave background, and found the lower value for the expansion of the universe. The satellite's calculation is based on images of the patterns in light from the early universe. Together with the standard model of cosmology, the images show that the universe is expanding with a Hubble constant that's lower than the JWST measurement by about 5.6 km per second per megaparsec. 
As it stands, there doesn't seem to be anything wrong with the measurement of the Hubble constant or with the JWST observations. The tension between the measurements points a finger at the standard model of cosmology as the problem. But the standard model also appears to be unimpeachable, it's withstood numerous other challenges without breaking down. The model came about in part due to the discovery of the accelerating expansion of the universe.